Lunar New Year is the next update for Horizon 5. As we know, it's also known as Series 30. Now, there has been quite a few leaks this past 24 hours and potential clues as to what's coming within that update. So we're going to cover all of that right here. There might be a car pack and some other confirmed cars. Now, Lunar New Year is also one of the most important holidays over in China, as it is the Chinese New Year. You'll understand why I'm saying that very shortly. So we'll start off with this leak right here. This is just one of a few. This appears to be some kind of banner that made its rounds over on the Futsal Horizon Reddit and other socials, and it appears to be an advert, a promotional poster of some sort of a collaboration between MG and Futsal Horizon 5. It's in Chinese by the looks of it. Down at the bottom, it seems to be maybe a, a new custom Xbox is available. But what catches our eye is that there are in fact two cars on the poster that are not in Horizon 5, the MG Cyberster and the MG7. Now, we haven't got these in the game, and what's interesting is right next to these, there are dates, and both of them dates, the 30th of January and the 22nd of February, those are all within the next update, so it kind of all adds up for these being two cars that we may receive. Now, there was some kind of interactive GIF, like you can see here, um, I'll try to have it on screen, where you could click and it would sort of fake a wheel spin. And there was all sorts of other posters that were found as well, detailing about the MG Cyberster. Um, I mean, it's pretty safe to say that this is probably meaning that those two cars are going to come to Horizon 5 within the next update. They are both cars that would be welcome additions to the game. If you're finding this video helpful, guys, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any leaks or anything like this in the future. Now, what's interesting is it wasn't just this. There was this found as well. Now, it's, it's very difficult to find the exact sources of these. Um, this might not look like anything special because it's all in Chinese. Now, I have translated it. I'll show you that in a minute. We can note out the word MG, the word Forza, and DLC. Now, if I translate this to English, it is a little bit difficult to understand. But what's very important is at the bottom, the thing that does translate perfectly is Chinese Car Package DLC. Now, is this trying to tell us that as a reward for this potential competition that this might be in Chinese, one of the rewards will be this car pack within Horizon 5, which would mean that we're getting a Chinese car pack or some kind of car pack that's based around chinese cars. The deadline for this is actually January the 30th. Now, we know that the next update is beginning on the 1st of February, that is the Thursday, which means the update itself will come out probably on the 30th. So everything adds up quite perfectly. Now, whether these two MGs are gonna be within this car pack or not, we're not sure. What's really interesting though, is if we go back to the Cyberster and the MG7, the MG7 comes out on the 22nd of February, supposedly. Now that is on a Thursday. That's when the seasons change over. So this is probably gonna be a reward car within one of the seasons, that would make sense. More specifically, the fourth week towards the end of February. But the Cyberster, on the 30th of January, that's a Tuesday. That is before the Lunar New Year festival playlist actually starts on the 1st of February. So I think there's a good possibility that this car, the red one, will be part of a car pack or the auto show and the MG7 will be in the festival playlist. That's just my guess, could be completely wrong. But based on these dates, that's what makes most sense. So the red MG could very well be in this supposed Chinese car package DLC. That obviously brings the question as what else is going to be within this potential DLC. Well, over on GT Planet, the uh, switched on people have got their predictions in. There are the three MGs from Horizon 4 that were cut from the game that might return. Um, the MG MG BGT, MGA Twin Cam and TA Midget. And there's, I mean, when it comes to cars over in China, there's a lot of possibilities of what could be coming. The best selling EV in China 2021 is the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV Convertible. Maybe we'll see that. There's no real way of narrowing down exactly what could be in the car pack. Just any other car with Chinese connections. The Pole Star 1 would be fantastic. That has a heavy Chinese influence. Um, the Icona Vulcano. Does anybody remember the Top Gear clip of Jeremy Clarkson talking about that car? I certainly do. Let me know in the comment section below your predictions for this update. Are we going to get these Chinese cars? Are we going to get a Chinese car pack? 
I'm very intrigued to know. Now, what else do we have? Now, this goes over to Twitter now, and it is on the Spanish Futsa Horizon 5 page. They tweeted out this, and it was a screenshot of the Chevy, the Chevrolet Chevy 94 to 2012 car on the suggestions hub and it only had two votes to be added to the game but what's interesting is on the quote for this treat it says we did it with the Tsuru could it be that now the Tsuru the Nissan Tsuru was the top voted car of the entire forum and it got added to the game as with this tweet are they hinting that they are wanting the Chevrolet Chevy to get a bit more votes to add to the game is it coming are they just joking around and they just kind of want the Chevrolet to get more votes they replied to this tweet um, actually linking the European version of this specific car, which is the Vauxhall Corsa B 93 to 2000. So it's a bit of a strange one about why they're tweeting this. What's really interesting is the Chevrolet now on the forums has over a thousand votes. It's probably nearing 2000 as the time you're watching this. For anybody who doesn't know, the Chevrolet Chevy is kind of a Mexican version of the Opel Corsa that the, they previously replied with. So are they secretly working on either of those cars coming to the game at any point? I don't know why they would tweet about it otherwise. It's a really bizarre thing to do. Nevertheless, they're trying to get people towards voting it. We could be seeing the Chevrolet Chevy or the Vauxhall Corsa coming to the game. Maybe not in the next update, but at some point, you know, these tweets must mean something, surely. What else? Well, while I was looking for the predictions about what could be in the Chinese car pack over on GT Planet, I saw a couple of people talk about current issues with Brabham and Extreme E about how potentially the Extreme E vehicles and the Brabham vehicles will no longer be in Forza games after Horizon 5 and Forza Motorsport. If we take a look at the Brabham BT62 which was introduced in the Hot Wheels update for Horizon 5, it's named after Australia's three-time F1 champion they will no longer be able to use that famous name of the racer, which puts a question mark on the future of them supercars. Now, what this essentially means is Forza Horizon 5 and Forza Motorsport may also not be able to get the license or the ability to use the name Brabham, which would unfortunately lead to not seeing that car in future Forza titles, which kind of makes you realise that sometimes when we don't get cars followed into the next Forza game, it's not all because it's Forza's fault. Sometimes they're just not allowed. Now, the same goes for Extreme E as well as I said. Extreme E plans to stop at the end of 2024 amid hydrogen transition to Extreme H. So this is the last year of their Extreme E. It does mean that the Extreme H vehicles are certain possibilities for the next Forza game or even this Forza game but this won't affect Extreme E vehicles that are currently in the game but it does impact them forwarding to the next one. So we may be saying goodbye to that along with the Brabham BT62 for Horizon 6. So that's the news for today, guys. We'll find out probably next week all the information about Series 30. Will it have a Chinese car pack? If it will, I'll be giving away codes for that. You can bet. So make sure to say subscribe, leave a like if you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all later.